I think more people in this country, and, and you, you can attest to this by, by how positive that went in Grand Prairie, which is, you know, mm-hmm. a part of Alberta that's been conservative since, oh, I don't know, Confederation. Forever. <laughs> right? Forever. Uh, who were receptive to the idea of universal basic income. And I think a lot of it has to do when they realize, wait a minute, you mean we'll save money doing this? Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, we will. And that was my goal with my talk is I wanted to paint the picture that, you know, take the political ideology out of this, yes. right? Just let's look at it from a factual perspective. Let's look at it from a, a common sense perspective. They're big mm-hmm. on common sense. That's their whole slogan right now is common yes. sense. And when you, when we break it down and, and there's fathers of the UBIs that are, that are staunch conservatives. I said it yes. in my talk, Richard Nixon. Yes. Richard Nixon. Was an You're not going to get much more conservative, right? No, no. He he's well. He's old school conservative, so yes. a little bit different than modern. But then, yeah. but he impl- was attempted to implement it in his family assistance plan that the United States desperately needed, and it didn't pass because the Democrats didn't want to do it. Like it is astonishing to think that there is there is uh, old brow conservatives that are for this. Um, so from a common sense perspective. And I think when you're talking to right wing individuals or right leaning individuals, you have to break it down in a way that is, you know, uh, talking about saving things or reducing mm-hmm. things. Exactly. And if I, if I went to a conservative and say, Hey, I have this great plan that's going to reduce unemployment, reduce spending and reduce bureaucratical oversight. You got a conservative's ears wide open at that point. It's true. So, it's true. It's absolute. I, one of my friends who's, who said, I'm, I'm a conservative. He says it to this day. He's in his 70s. Now, he hasn't voted conservative in the last few elections. He's been voting NDP because he's like, whatever that is, it's not mm-hmm. conservative. Yeah. I have a he's a progressive. And he's, he's a strong supporter of UBI. 